Interferon was our first approved agent, Interferon Beta-1b, and that was approved 25 years ago in 1993, and we've been using it ever since. And as is the case for every disease-modifying therapy, there are some people who have responded beautifully to it. And so I have patients who I started treating in 93 and 94, who I continue to treat now, and they've done great. But not everybody does. Uh, between the interferons, the higher dose, higher frequency interferons tend to do better than lower dose, lower frequency interferons. People still argue about this, but I think the data supports it. Um, but they've been useful. And for those where they weren't useful, we've been able to move on to other agents. Uh, interferon had a side effect to make people feel like they had the flu, which usually tended to go away. It involved an injection. If it was subcutaneous, you could get skin reactions. If it was intramuscular, it was a deep injection, but there was some pain associated with it. But people actually ended up tolerating it reasonably well. Rarely you'd see changes in liver function, uh, but by and large, uh, it was very well tolerated. Glutarimer acetate was the second class of drugs that we uh, had available to us starting in 1997. It's an amino acid copolymer. Um, its efficacy in some of our studies when we've looked at them has been similar to high-dose, high-frequency interferon. Uh, given by a subcutaneous injection, uh, the, the feature of, of glutarimer acetate, besides the fact that we've had people, again, who've been on it since 1997 and done great, uh, is that it had really excellent safety. You didn't have to monitor any blood tests. There was a, a kind of annoying reaction that sometimes people would get right after an injection where they get flushed and palpitations. And if you didn't know it was coming, it would scare you, but it would go away in seconds to minutes and nothing ever came of it. Something called a post-injection systemic reaction. But in terms of safety, it was the safest agent, still is the safest agent we have. This is of some importance because there are a lot of patients who are concerned about safety first, more than efficacy. And they said, what is it I'm putting in my body with these different drugs? And for those people, the right individuals, then glutarimer acetate becomes a, a very good choice. There's no role for IVIG in, in treating multiple sclerosis. There was an initial trial which suggested there could be some benefit, but when it was studied further, both a second trial in relapse and remitting disease, which is what the first one was, and another trial in secondary progressive MS, uh, they both failed. Um, and, and some of those trials involved the same authors that were involved in the first successful trial. So there's really no, it's not part of our therapeutic armamentarium to use IVIG.